Hi, beautiful people, beautiful family. I uh, had this on my heart and I make notes in my phone so I don't forget to share certain topics. And the topic I'd love to share with you guys today uh, is something he, something the Father ministered to me that really touched my heart. And it had to do with, uh, I kept asking him, can you take me into all the dimensions of the Spirit? Can you show me the depths of your love? And can you like really help me know you in every way possible? And I was praying all these prayers. And it sounded spiritual, and he came back with just such a simple answer. He says, do you want this? Do you really mean what you say? And I said, yes, I really want this. And he says, do you know the, uh, the answer to your request? And I said, well, what is it? And he says, why don't you start loving people that you can see instead of trying to love a God that you can't see? And man, that just hit me so, like, it just touched my heart. Because I so want to love him that I don't care about loving you as much. And he says, that's not okay. He says, when you start loving people so much, that'll open up your heart. And that'll take you into the dimensions and the spirit and be able to love other people and love God and see the depths of God. But you're engaging with God all the time when you see his creation and you engage with people. And if you choose not to love them and be kind to them and gentle to them, but yet you say, I love God and I don't love people, well, you're a liar. Because the same love you love God is the same love you love people. So if you say, well, it's easy to love God and it's hard to love people because God's not sticking a knife in my back. You know, people are always trying to hurt me. But God, he, he's always good to me, you know, so a lot of people think that's an excuse. But I started realizing that I'm going to make that my life mission just to be kind and loving to everybody. And I knew that would open up all the doors and all the dimensions to all the spiritual weird stuff I want to get into. I want to get so deep and, and, and understand God so wild and and a friend of mine says, well, you sound like Rick and Morty. And I was like, what's that? He's like, it's a really weird cartoon show where one guy is a scientist and he's so brilliant. He'll travel to different dimensions and galaxies. And, and then, and his name is Rick and he's just such a genius and a crazy drunk, drug addict, whatever. But then Morty is his grandson who just wants to date a girl and go to high school. <laughs> and Rick keeps taking him on all these crazy adventures. And, and I'm thinking, man, sometimes I feel like that where I'm Rick, I'm crazy. I'm trying to see all these things and do all these weird spiritual stuff. And then sometimes I'm trying to pull other people in and they just think you're crazy. And other times I feel like I'm Morty. I just want to love my girl and just stay home and be normal. And then I meet all these other Ricks who are just going after everything God has. And I'm thinking, man, there's more. So I want to encourage you that there is more, and I'm not trying to push you into it, but I want to show you the key, the master key to get into all that is just loving. And we always think, well, loving who? Well, loving God? Well, yeah, but it has to transition into loving people every day in the most simplest ways. And if you cannot do that, then don't boast about your spirituality of how much you love God and what you do for God and how many times you went to church. I could care less because if you're uh, you know, rude to me and you're a jerk, when, when I meet you and I'm trying to get to know you and you're telling me how deep spiritual you are, I don't believe it. I, you can't sell me on that. People don't care how much you know. People care how much you love. And when you walk in love towards people, they'll really see that, wow, you, you really care for me because you, you know a lot and you're not even saying anything. You're just living a life of love. So love isn't a, a, just some kind of adjective we use to describe. It, it's a verb. It's an action, guys. You, you're moving into something. You're doing something. You know, money talks. And boy, if you start saying, well, I love the poor. Well, let me look at your bank account and see how much money you take out and give to the poor. Well, I love the widows and the orphans. Well, how much do you help the widows and the orphans on a daily basis? Monthly basis, yearly basis, where is it? So we start realizing we can talk a big talk,
but it has to transition into our actions and it definitely will transition into our financial lives if we can look at that and gauge. But back in the day, I used to have such a big heart to give and I just felt like I couldn't. I felt like I didn't have enough to give. And, and, and if I only had like, you know, $20 to give, I felt like it was nothing. And a pastor friend of mine, uh, well, teacher, <laughs> teacher Gary, <laughs> don't call me pastor. <laughs> he says, even if you have 20 bucks, if everyone in this room gave 20 bucks, it would change their world. And I was like, whoa, I, I got 20 bucks. Maybe I don't have thousands in my heart. I want to give thousands. I just don't have it. So I decided in my heart to send 20 bucks to an orphanage. And I started doing that often. And my heart was like, I love them. And it's like, well, we'll do something about it. And that 20 bucks felt like nothing. but it, it felt right. And then as my heart was willing to, more came to do that and more came. And, and now I can give as much as I want. And now my finances are getting to a place where I'm not afraid to give. I'm not afraid to spend. It's money flows easy and money, it's, it's easy to give, but it's who I am. You know, it's something I've learned to do from just a, a desire. And now my heart is finally starting to meet where my giving is and, and, and I have so much more I want to give, but I want to start a, an orphanage and, and create all these things and buy this building and, and set it up for life. But that's like a $65 million building. And, and then to buy it and to refurbish it and to set it up financially to, to take care of and adopt orphans. It's like, all right, I'm gonna need a hundred million. Where am I going to get that to set all that up? It's like, he'll provide, but I'm going to move in that direction and desire to do that because my heart wants to give way beyond what my means are, but I'm starting to hit my goals and hit my desires of my heart and I'm just blowing past it and I desire to do more, but I'm no longer waiting and praying and waiting on the Lord. I feel like I've waited on the Lord so much that I was afraid to move and now I'm just flowing and living and enjoying it and I'm not trying to make his will happen and it just unfolds so effortlessly because I learned to just love him be his friend. And through that, he showed me, man, I want you to love me more. Man, I want you to sh show you all these crazy things. But if you cannot love these people, how am I going to take you to other dimensions to love people and to love me? It's like, love people. And as I do that, he's like, perfect. Now let me take you, let me show you things. So I encourage you guys as well, you know, just love all those around you, you know, love your neighbor. And the Bible said, well, who is my neighbor? It's, Whoever you want to show mercy to is your neighbor. Whoever you want to love, whoever's around you, whoever comes across your path, those are your neighbors. Those are people you can love. And it doesn't always have to be money or sometimes it's just stop and just say hello and get to know somebody. Just the simple acts of kindness and love, it, it'll change the world. So I encourage you guys, if something like that happens across your week, just slow down a little bit and don't be in such a hurry. And You'll find there's people coming across your path who just need a little bit of love and find out what they need. See if you can help. If you can't, then ask for help. But we're here to love you guys and support you. And we're just going to keep loving God and loving people. So we'll see you guys in the next one.